Hey, good evening. It's Tim DeLeo with using windowshomeserver.com. Uh, I've upgraded to my Microsoft Life Cam, the 720 Cinema version, so hopefully get a little bit better video tonight. Uh, I've got my HP Media Smart server here. This is the EX45 model, the one that was on sale from Newegg last week. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It is a refurbished model, so it's good for the environment, and it's good for me because it didn't cost me half of what it would have when I had bought it new. When you open up the front panel, you can see there are four drive bays. Uh, each drive bay has a little purple notch that you can push down and that will unlock the drive. To pull it, just pull from the center and pull the drive directly out. My standard drive that came with the model here is a 750 gigabyte model. The first thing that I'm going to do is set it down and take a picture of it because I want to be able to get the serial number and all of the other data off of it. If I ever want to worry about anything with the way the system works, or anything with tech support, it's nice to have a quick picture for the drive. So I've taken a quick picture here. To put the drive back in, you just slide the drive in. As it gets close, you'll feel it start to get a little tight. Use your index finger and your thumb from both sides, hold the back of the case, and just push back until it locks. And then push it down with your center. Try not to push on these because they'll probably either break or bend. Also, I'm going to add a new drive before I start this up. So to do that, I push the little purple thing down. I pull the drive out. And I've got the tray here. Now the tray has little clips here to put up and down, you can see. So once it's down, you're ready to go. And also, only one side of this actually bends. When you look at this, one side bends and one side doesn't. So make sure that when you put your drive in, and you're going to put it the SATA end first, that you put it in with a side that does not bend first. So I'm going to put my drive into the holes first, get that ready to go. You'll see that the holes are lined up just the way they're supposed to be. I'm doing this on camera. And then these will pop up and over so you can get the drive directly into the way it's supposed to be. Once the drive is ready, it's good to go and it's locked in. Again, I'm going to put the drive in. I'm going to slide it all the way back till it gets close. Use my index finger and thumb. Push back till it locks and push the thing down close the system up. I'm going to spin it around now. You can see on the back side here that I've got three USB ports. I've got one eSATA. I've got a network connection. I've got a reset button and I've got the power cable. So I've got the power cable here. I'm going to run the power cable to the back. Standard power cable. Plug it into the wall. Ready to go. The only other thing that I want to do right now is I want to plug in my network cable. I have a network cable here already on the bench. So I'm going to pull it a little bit closer and plug the network cable in. Uh, one of the things you do want to do is check to make sure that you have the right network cable. If you're going to try and run gigabit, make sure that you have a gigabit like Cat5 Plus or a Cat6 kind of cable so you do get the higher speeds. Uh, I don't have any other drives that I'm going to add in now, so I'm going to leave it blank. And the next thing that I do is I just click on the power button. Once I've done that, as I spin this around, you'll see that I'm getting some lights on the bottom. And as I do this, the lights will light up down here and they will let me know when I am ready to go with the server. So what I wanna do is basically, it's gonna take about 60 seconds to start up and then we're gonna do everything else on the PC. So talk to you in a little bit.